Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you here with us and pray you will be blessed. Sit back for the next two hours and enjoy while we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing, pray, and read the Bible in support of one another on our journey of faith. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer request and praise reports. You may call us at 606-464-4250 anytime during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Sister Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our studios. And we do have a a uh, good group of singers here with us tonight. Dottie had a few phone operators, and we're going to have service like we usually do, just not have all the seats full and a lot of people run, running around. But we're going to do our best to, to point you to the Lord tonight because, you know, there's so many things going on and happening and uh, so forth that we need to we need to know and be reminded of who and what uh, the Lord can be to us. And uh, so uh, just stay tuned for the, uh, for the music here. But, of course, I want to read some scripture for those that could not uh, see to read today. The scripture is for everyone. And this is a, uh, this is a really uh, a good chapter uh, on Christian behavior. And... Uh, you might find a place in here that you uh, could improve a little. I do every time I read it. That's why uh, that sometimes you put off scripture that you know is going to get you. So uh, not reading it. But anyway, here is a scripture on Christian behavior. And it's in Romans, the 12th chapter. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove uh, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. <clears throat> For I say, though through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt uh, to every man a measure of faith. For as we have many members of one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every uh, one member one to another. Having then gifts differing, differing according to the grace that is given unto us, with a prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Uh, be kindly uh, affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Not slowful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessity of the saints and given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in, in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy 
hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. 21 verses of how, lining it up on Christian behavior, how we as Christians are supposed to be acting and doing. And you know, uh, this second verse is talking about not being not conformed to the world. You know, uh, uh, we have to go back and really uh, stop sometimes because our, man, our mind gets so full of the things that we hear that we, we get swept away with the, uh, the current. But we've got to stop and re, uh, be renewed, uh, uh, renewing your mind, and that is with, with the Lord's Word and with His presence. And, you know, if, uh, many of you that uh, are complaining, complaining about not having any peace and can't rest and everything, well, uh, you've got too much else in your mind except the Lord. The Lord said He would give us perfect peace if if our mind is stayed on him so i have been thinking about this scripture because we can only absorb so much of the the worldly stuff and news we got to go back and live on god's word because this is our book to go by this is where we win or lose if we uh, get into uh, his word and so we trust that uh, that you will think about these scriptures and, and see if there's any place that uh, the Lord would have you to uh, move a little bit. All right, here's, uh, we've got some prayer requests already. Uh, Tammy, her husband, Stanley's on his way to uh, Lexington, may, uh, may have to have a heart surgery. Uh, and um, then also Rebecca has called and Lorena and uh, uh, Melissa um, is not able to walk. So we need, uh, everyone needs the Lord in one way or another. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the guidelines, the, the things you put down, the rules are so, they're plain, plainly spoken to where we can understand that we're not to take a revenge yourself, but you said you would do it and you know those that love you and those that do not love you and so we know lord you're going to take care of all of us in your way so tonight i ask you to bless and comfort the hearts of people that have been let too much too much come in that has stolen their peace uh, whatever the cost lord help them to get back and spend time with you to where their peace with you is more important than than anything anything that's happening to them personally or the state or community or anything but our peace with you is more important than anything so bless those that do not have it tonight help them to know how they can find you if they seek for you so bless our guests and our phone operators and the ones that will be calling Lord let this service be a blessing in Jesus name Amen all right, tonight we're happy to have the 11th hour ministry from Hazard, Kentucky as our guest. And uh, they have a phone number that you may reach them at 606-439-4988. And with Pastor Terry Joseph, let's welcome right now the 11th hour ministry from Hazard, Kentucky. Man, we're just so honored to be here tonight. Kind of such a great privilege and an honor got to get to be back on WLJC one more time and we just appreciate the goodness of the Lord so much uh, what wonderful scripture sister Margaret was sharing I was, I was thinking you know how that uh, the governor has gave out guidelines for Kentucky through the virus but the word of God gives us guidelines to go by as Christians amen and if you'll live by these guidelines you will be blessed amen i love the word of god it's the greatest thing i've ever found amen so we're just honored to be here tonight we just want to have church and uh just worship the lord tonight and we just appreciate the goodness of the lord uh through all of this through all the virus and all of that god's been good he's been faithful and we're going to start out tonight with the song said jesus is with me 
Amen. I'm glad that he promised that he would go with us always, even unto the end of the world. He's been with me, amen, everywhere I've been. He's been with us through this sickness, and he's going to continue to be with us, amen. So let's sing tonight, Jesus is with me. Oh, Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. Be standing by my side. Satan is a moving to and fro. 
Amen. That's one thing I can count on. I know that Jesus is going to be with me. Amen. Thank God for his promise that he would never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just so honored tonight to be able to be here and feel the presence of God. And I appreciate it. Uh, we've got a few missing tonight, but we're glad to have uh, my dad, uh, Paul, and, and my mom, Nola Joseph, my older sister on the piano. <laughs> Uh, sister Teresa, and then uh, my middle-sized sister Joyce, and uh, my appreciate her, and my brother by another mother, Don, over here. <laughs> he, man, we appreciate him for helping us out tonight. Uh, I miss uh, my son Daniel being here. He usually comes with us, and uh, we miss Frederick not being here playing the bass for us tonight, but we're just so honored for the opportunity to come and worship the Lord and uh, just get in and have church tonight. That's what we want to do. Amen. And and I thought as we've been through this, something that we've never experienced before. And a lot of folks didn't know what to do. Amen. And sometimes you don't know what to do. But Sister Teresa's going to sing a song tonight that says, I just held on. Amen. When you don't know what else to do, just hold on to God. And he'll never fail you. Amen. Sing it, sis. You may ask me how it is that I'm still standing. You wonder how I made it through the storm. Well, I can't boast of any special power. Well, there's no secret. I just held on and I held on till the storm was over I don't claim to be a hero I don't have all the answers but I held on till the storm was over
with this virus, they keep saying, you know, that they're learning. Each day they're learning about it. Well, each day in my walk with God, I learned what it took. I learned what it took to get my kids healed. I learned what it took for me to hang on and not give up. See, you got to hold on to faith. Got to hold on to your God. Don't think of letting go. Just stand upon that rock. One thing, you got to hold on to your prayer life. You got to hold on to what the Word of God says. And hold on to what you've learned. And I held on till the storm was over. I don't claim to be a hero. I don't have all the answers. But I held on till the storm was over. Reminds me of a story I heard a long time ago about a little boy one day that was playing on the edge of the cliff line and he fell over the edge and there he started yelling out for help and his dad finally heard him and came and and threw a rope down to him and said, son, grab a hold of the rope and I'll pull you up. And as he was pulling him up, he noticed the little boy did that the rope was starting to break. And he cried out to his father, said, what am I going to do, Dad? What am I going to do? The rope's are breaking. And the father said, son, just reach past the break and hold on. Yes. Amen. Sometimes you just got to hold on. Yes. Don't claim to be a hero. Don't have all the answers, but I'm holding on to God tonight. Amen. Because I know that one of these days I'm going to be moving. Dad's going to sing about it tonight. We're going to be moving, moving away. Hallelujah. This world is not my home. I'm just passing through. And one of these days, we're going to be moving. Amen. Come on, sing, Dad. I'd like to send this center program out to Barney L. Bentley and his wife. Hope they enjoy our program tonight. i also like to send it out to my sister, Bertha Hilton, in Sayersville. Hope she enjoys her program tonight. place for ladies, not enough care, not enough giving, sometimes the clouds are thin and sorrow hides away, but this life of stormy weather ain't a gonna be my home forever, gonna be moving, moving away. Gonna be moving, moving away. Gonna be moving one of these days. When I leave this life behind me, troubles and care never gonna find me. Gonna be moving. No more dying, joy awaits me in that mansion far away. I'm going to rest from all my labor. The Lord's going to be my next door neighbor, going to be moving, moving away. 
wanna be moving, moving away. I wanna be moving, one of these days. When I leave this life behind me, troubles and cares are never gonna find me. Wanna be moving, moving away. Moving away. Wanna be moving. One of these days When I leave this life behind me Troubles and cares are never gonna find me Wanna be moving Moving away Man, thank God that one of these days we're out of here trump of God's going to sound. The dead in Christ is going to rise first. We which are alive and remain are going to be caught up with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. My, what a promise we have tonight. It's going to get better after a while. Just hold on. Amen. Things are about to change. I believe that we're in the 11th hour of time that Jesus Christ is soon going to return. And if you're not ready tonight, let me encourage you to ask Christ to become the Lord of your life. Amen. And get ready for heaven. We're about ready to leave here. Amen. All right, Joyce, are you ready to sing one? Amen. All right. Sing hard now, sis. Send this out to my son, Nick, and husband, Mike, and and mother-in-law, Sally, and my sister, Renee, and her family.
Jesus Valley with my Lord. Amen. Mom, since we're singing about walking, why don't you talk about walking in your new shoes? Amen. In this life here, we have our troubles. We meet with burdens. Oh, yeah. so awesome tonight amen I want to tell somebody tonight that God's still in control he's not going on a vacation but he's well aware of what's going on and I I heard a little story the other day and uh, I read it I guess and and it just really it was just awesome I was thinking about it and uh, I was about this man went into the barber shop to get his hair cut and uh, so he was there and he got to talking to the barber you know and the barber said you know he said they, they can't be a god said, look at this world and the shape that it's in and everything that's going on and, you know, all the murder and, 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 and all of that. You know, he said, there, there, there can't be a God. Well, the man getting his hair cut really didn't know how to respond. And so, so after he got his, his done, you know, he, he paid and he got up and he walked out on the street. And as soon as he got outside on the street, he saw a man there that was dirty and had long, stringy hair and beard was unshaved, you know, and he, he turned right around and went back in the barber shop. And he said, sir, he said, you know what? He said, there's no such thing as a barber. 
And the man said, what were you talking about? He said, I just cut your hair. I'm a barber. He said, no. He said, they can't be a barber. If there was, they wouldn't be men running around with long stringy hair and unshaved and all of that if there was a barber. And the man said, well, you may have a point, you know. There is a God. All you got to do is look to him. Amen. He's in charge tonight. He knows what we need. He knows what we have need of even before that we ask him tonight. I believe that God is still on the throne tonight and he's in charge and all is well with my soul. The old song says, I'm a winner either way if I go or if I stay. Amen. I'm a winner tonight. Since you were saying, I feel like preaching a little tonight. Amen. I'm ready for heaven tonight. Are you ready? Amen. Sing it, sis. We're missing uh, my grandson, Ethan. We miss him and Mackenzie tonight that usually comes with us. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, we'll sing how great.
tonight. Amen. I'm telling you, in the world that we're living in tonight, you got to have a made up mind. Yes, you do. Man. Hallelujah. You got to have a, a made up mind and a determination that I'm going on with Jesus. Amen. I'm going to try this song tonight. Not for sale. so strong what happened to that singer that used to sing God's song the preacher's out selling Amway that singer's out singing country and they sold out what is right for what is wrong be on fire what happened to all the voices that sing in that heavenly choir the church has now grown dead and cold the choir is silent cause nobody goes they sold This heart belongs to Jesus Cause he saved my soul from hell And this heart belongs to Jesus And this heart Not for sale Not for sale Not for sale Not for sale. 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 No way. Not for sale. Not for sale. If you're living for Jesus, friend, there'll come a day that old devil's gonna try and get you some way. Well, he'll try you and he'll tempt you with his lies straight from hell. Just say, I belong to Jesus and devil. I'm not for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale. Precious blood. I don't need popularity. I'd rather have what he gave to me. Oh, you see, some have sold conviction for compromise. Some have sold the truth for a pack of lies. Some have sold testimony for fortune and fame. But I just gonna glorify and magnify his name. I'm glad tonight that I can report to you that I'm not for sale. I made up my mind a long time ago that I was gonna live for Jesus. Come hell or high water, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna hold on tonight. They ain't got nothing in that world for me to go back to. I done sold out to God. I've been bought with the price, with the precious blood I 
God, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm not for sale tonight. I can tell you, Nashville has never called. No, sir, Hollywood has never tried to get a hold of me. But if they would tonight, I'm going to tell you, I'm not for sale. I'm going to stand for Jesus. Because one night, he reached way below the bottom. And it brought me out. I was about to go under, but it brought me out. And I'm not for sale tonight. See, this heart belongs to Jesus Cause he saved my soul from hell That's the reason I serve him tonight Not because of the house that I live in Or the job that I have Or the smoking hot wife I've got I, That ain't the reason I serve God I serve him because he saved me one night. I was in trouble. But he reached down to where I was. And he brought me out. Wrote my name down in glory. Hallelujah. And I've got a home in heaven that I'm going to. And that's the reason that I serve him. So this heart belongs to Jesus. Cause he saved my soul from hell This heart belongs to Jesus And this heart, this heart Is not for sale Not for sale Not for sale Not for sale Thank you so much. That is a wonderful song and and how that we do need to stay committed to the Lord. And it uh, seems like that sometimes it's easy to sail out for a very small things, but with the Lord's help, uh, then we'll uh, we'll stay stay in there with him. All right. Uh, we uh, appreciate uh, the 11th hour ministry from Hazard, Kentucky for being with us tonight. Now they have a TV program on WLJC on Sunday, Sunday at, evening at 5.30. At 5.30, okay. And uh, so uh, it is recorded in your church. Right, amen, oh. yep. Record, we record it every Sunday evening and uh, we've been doing Facebook Live as well oh, uh, yeah, through all this, good. you know. And then, uh, yep. Uh, it was a little bit different. It's it's been somewhat different for us. Uh, uh, it's it's different when you're standing there preaching to empty pews. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but you know we did what we had to do to make it through. We are back now having services, and uh, well, we're doing a little things right now different until the regulations are dropped. We, we're having service beginning at eleven thirty on Sunday morning. Hmm. And uh, and and then we're not having Sunday evening right now, but that will be picking back up mm -hmm. uh, very shortly. And then also on Tuesday night at seven o'clock. And you know we try our best to follow the guidelines that uh, that they've set forth for us, so yes. you can feel assured when you walk in the door that you're going to be safe, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to worship the Lord. Amen. That's what it's all about: getting ready for heaven. And I just appreciate that, uh, and, and we've been able to reach a lot of people through this. And, mm -hmm. You know, I think the devil thought that he would stop us, but yeah, I believe the yes. church is stronger than ever before today. Yes. Yes. Amen. It, I know I I've it. prayed more, yes. and I've sought yes. God more through this, and it's pushed me to get closer to God. So mm -hmm. uh, the devil's kind of stupid, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, if he'd have known, he'd have never crucified Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but he didn't know that the church is coming out of this stronger than we've ever been before. Yes. And I believe that we're in the last days. Yes. And I, I'm, I'm glad I'm ready for heaven tonight. Yes, well, we're, uh, I'm, I really feel like that it's been great for the preachers to uh, branch out and to do what, uh, uh, like what you said. Uh, 
Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Terry, we did not get to have our uh, a spring telethon. Yes, I but uh, that. Uh, we made that announcement, and there've been some people that is calling in to help. Anyway, here's Maggie Allen from London has called in fifty dollar pledge, and hey, we, man. we appreciate that. And uh, so uh, she has breast cancer, and she wants the Lord to heal her, and. Uh, has been saved for 40 years, so now she knows a little about the Lord, doesn't Amen. she? Uh, Ms. Kavanaugh, she wanted to tell Shan happy birthday and to tell me she loves me. Well, thank you, Ms. Kavanaugh. And Shan had her big 92nd birthday yesterday, and I was trying, uh, y yesterday the 20th, yeah. And um, uh, so she uh, is kind of staying in indoors because uh, her do her granddaughter, that's a doctor, she's 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 giving her orders now. Yeah. Shan used to take care of her and babysit when she was little. She so, her and so uh, she'll uh, she is uh, boss Monica back then, but now Monica's bossing awesome. her. So <laughs> no, she she wants to like we said to stay safe and and you know uh, not have any any worries. I mean, it's only common sense to. Um, to try to take care of yourself yes. uh, because I remember when when I was little there was a, a family came to our church that uh, and why the, the woman didn't think about it I guess but I remember my mom's reaction she brought her children to church and they all had uh, whooping cough and so then what happens everybody all of us that was at church uh, got whooping cough uh -huh. well i remember hearing mom talking to that woman and uh, she wasn't very happy <laughs> because that she had brought brought that in on without ever telling anybody the kids uh -huh. were sick yeah and so i know a little bit about what uh, the governor's trying to do trying to get people to uh, you know not come into a situation like that so well, let's see. Uh, we've got uh, we've got some uh, some prayer requests here. Mary from Letcher County for a mom and a brother having heart issues. Betty from Leslie County, uh, health uh, health problems. And uh, Donald, his roommate. Uh, there's been a death in his family. And a lady from Lexington. Uh, is uh, to get a scan tomorrow about this virus. Lady from Paintsville, kidney infection. Um, a friend is called for Brianna from Corbin uh, that's uh, very sick and has several things going on there. Uh, Emily from Knox County uh, having trouble breathing and her friend has heart blockage. And Alfie has called. Wilma from Lee County has called. Stomach problems. Uh, Margie from Pulaski County lives in Michigan and lost her mom, and Michael needs prayer. Uh, you know, everyone's prayer request is different. Uh, John from Somerset, back surgery tomorrow. And then we have Veda from uh, London, was in the hospital with pneumonia, and Claudia is bed fast. Thelma uh, from Madison, children, grandchildren. Jeremy uh, from Lexington. Pray for uh, uh, Caleb, it says. And uh, then we have uh, uh, a nephew that has fourth stage of cancer and uh, don't know about his, his body or his spiritual condition, so he really needs a visitation from the Lord. Tammy from Knox County for a uh, brother that came out of surgery okay and happy birthday to Shannon, she said. And then here's uh, here's one from uh, Phyllis and Earl and Goldie and from uh, Miss Dickerson from Perry County health issues bug from Harlan for his mom and dad and uh, I believe this is uh, uh, Jerry from uh, Lincoln County so uh, we're going to ask Brother Terry if he will anoint these and pray for for them all and prayers of agreement is very strong and we all we all know that so yes, uh, we, do. Uh, we appreciate we always enjoy when 
Brother Terry and his family comes for service because these people are living what that they say, and it always it's always good to have you. Yeah, we appreciate that. So, we, we appreciate the station because we know that you guys live it too. Well, yes, we it's, try. Uh, yeah, okay, I believe try. that. And this, uh, so yes. support the station, even yes. uh, though we can't have the telephone yet. You need to support it and mm -hmm. and send your money in, and God will bless you. Yes. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for the power oh, of prayer. God, as we anoint these needs tonight, God, Jesus. we're believing for healings to take place, deliverances. Those that are having surgery, God, that you're going to be there and you're going to guide them. Father, I just pray right now, God, that you would save that one that's oh, lost, Jesus. that's watching Jesus. right Jesus. now. God, they need you now more than ever. God, speak to their hearts, God, and help them. God, I pray for Sister Margaret in this station, God, that you'll continue to bless. God, as we get through this, we're going to come out stronger than ever yes. before. Yes. And Father, we're going to give you all the praise for it all. And it's in Jesus' wonderful name we ask it all. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank amen. God for prayer. Yes, yes. That's a... That is wonderful. Well, uh, be sure and listen Sunday. Uh, tell us again. Five thirty Sunday evenings at five thirty. Your uh, your TV. Your, your. And then our church church services at eleven thirty. You can catch that on Facebook Live. Uh, go to our church's uh, web page, Eleventh Hour Worship Center. And then on Tuesday night at seven o'clock as well. We're we're doing live right now. And uh, but we are having. Uh, people in service so uh, if you can come out and be with us we'll uh, we're doing their six foot distance mm -hmm. and all that somebody said well ain't you got faith you know <laughs> well you wear a seatbelt when you get in the car don't you that's <laughs> just because this is the law that doesn't mean I don't have faith well, yes. but we're, we're trying to stay healthy <laughs> and uh, yes. we thank God for it and God bless you come and be with us amen yes, yes. all right that's very good so our time is come and gone so from all of us. Good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest program. We trust you are blessed every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution of support. Will you become a financial partner of Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? We invite you to send your pledges of support to WLJC, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky. 41311 or visit us online at www.wljc.com. May God bless you.